him must mean just then, don't you? <laughs> yeah, just then. But there it goes again. When? Now? No, not now. No. <laughs> Yo, welcome back, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. We're Bars and Barbells, our reaction channel. And uh, we've been doing so much different stuff recently, but we just introduced George Carlin not too long ago. Yeah. Um, the first one that we did, Seven Dirty Words, was absolutely <laughs> outstanding. Uh, definitely Hilarious. one of our favorites, I would say. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a good one. And it was our first introduction to George Carlin. Mm -hmm. Um I've heard a few bits here and there, but it was much more of his older stuff, mm -hmm. and I really can't remember it. Um, so it was nice to get a, you know, a rendition from his earlier uh, stand-up comedy. Yeah, and I you... wasn't... I didn't even know he existed before that, so... Yeah. Oh, we better turn this up. Uh, so, you know, and getting that exposure definitely entices us to want yeah. to continue on the George Carlin journey. Oh my God. So I've really loved are. all the comedy ones. Like, I've never really gotten into stand-up comedy before, but they've all been so yeah yeah it's it's been great um it's, you never hurts to have a laugh so hopefully you can join us in this laugh today uh if you haven't done so already guys think about subscribing because we have so much content that we put in day in day out uh and uh if you do enjoy our video hit that like button leave us a comment let us know what your thoughts are any suggestions that's how we make our channel is with your suggestions so we encourage you guys to do that yeah. all right with that said you ready for some george yes let's get it george carlin on time Does the time bother you? I get bothered by the time. Not so much the time itself, the people bother me for the time. People come up to me on the street. I'm sure you've had this happen to you. People come up to you and say, what time is it? Well, they might say, what time is it? <laughs> I shouldn't get into these ballads. <laughs> you've had people come up to you and say, what time is it? What time is it? As if you personally were responsible for keeping time? You know, I feel, I feel honored, first of all, that they thought I was the man in charge. But I do have to explain, you don't see official timekeeper on here, do you? <laughs> I don't have the time, of course not. Do you have the time? That's another way they say, do you have the time? I say, uh, no. <coughs> I don't believe I do. I certainly didn't have it this morning. <laughs> Did you leave it somewhere? Wow, do you have the time? No, I don't have the time. I use a little of it like everyone, you know. But I don't have it. I think, <laughs> I think the Navy has it. In Washington, isn't that? They keep it in an observatory, that's right. Sure, they let out a little of it each day. <laughs> Not too much, they wouldn't want to give us too much. Just enough time. Sometimes they'll say, do you know what time it is? And I say, yes. <laughs> I hate to disappoint them, but there is no time. There is no time. I don't mean there's no time. I mean there's no time. When the hell is it? We made that whole thing up. There's no time. We made it up. It's a man-made invention time. There are no numbers up in the sky. I've looked. They're not there. <laughs> we made this stuff up. When is it? When the hell is it? When are we, I ask you? When are we? Sometimes we think we know where we are. But we don't really know when we are. When the hell is it? <laughs> all the time zones are different. Every calendar you run across is different. They'll all give you a different answer. These are calendars. These are made to, to keep track of time. <laughs> Everybody's got a different one. Chinese are way up there in the five and six thousands. Hebrew calendars way up in the five and six thousands. We're up at about 1970-something shit. This ain't a couple of weeks these people are off. This is thousands of goddamn years that are missing, man. How did they do that? We don't, we don't know when the hell it is. It could be the middle of last month for all we know. <laughs> I mean, time is so, we've got it down so perfect that every four years we have to stick in an extra day just to make sure it still works. <laughs> we call it February 29th. Oh shit, it's March 1st and I know it. <laughs> it just feels like March 1st. You can't keep track of the time. What's the sense? I'll give you an example. There's a moment coming. It's not here yet. It's still on the way. It's in the future. It hasn't arrived. Here it comes. Here it is. Oh, shit, it's gone. <laughs> There's no now. There's no now. 
Everything is the near future or the recent past. But there's no present. Welcome to the present. <laughs> on again. It's just so imprecise. We don't even care to use the minutes and seconds and hours that we've been given. Everybody's very vague about the time. They say, what time you got? Uh, I got, uh, I got just after. <laughs> just after? <laughs> Jeez, I must be slow. I had going on. <laughs> <laughs> and where did that imprecision begin? Why is it we're not so sure? I know one of the clues that happened to me was when they started telling me about moments. When I was a kid, they were trying to teach me how to tell time. And of course, you can't tell time. Time tells you. But they were trying. <laughs> they were trying to show me. On the big hand, I said, I don't have a big hand. <laughs> clock. And that clock is so wonderful. There's so much emotion attached to a clock face. I hate digital clocks. Digital clocks rob me of all the emotional experience of the spatial relationships on that face of the clock. Isn't it true? I mean, don't you always feel that this half hour, when it comes down from 12 down to 6, goes by a lot quicker than this half hour when it has to come up <laughs> fighting gravity all the way. I know, it does go a lot quicker. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you this, if I only have a half hour to live, I want it to be this one, man. <laughs> It'll last just a little bit longer than that one, man. It's vague. That's all I'm saying. It's very vague how we treat time. We have all these wonderful expressions. We say now. Now is an interesting one. When? Now. You want that now? Yes. Well, would you like to try again? <laughs> well, sometimes just now. Just now. Did you hear that? What? Just now. <laughs> you must mean just then, don't you? <laughs> yes, just then. But there it goes again. When? Now. No, not now. No. <laughs> Pardon me, do you have the time? When do you mean now or when you ask me? <laughs> this shit is moving, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth. <laughs> we have a lot of these vague terms. Right away, immediately, at once, lickety-split, just like that, nothing flat, drop of a hat, no time at all. As quick as you can say, Jack Robinson. I'm sure you've done that to people. I'll be back before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson, hey, you're not back. <laughs> <laughs> How about a jiffy? A jiffy? Or a flash? Which is quicker? <laughs> a jiffy or a flash? I think there are two flashes in a jiffy myself. <laughs> But God knows how many jiffies there are in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> <laughs> And why did they use two shakes of a lamb's tail? What's wrong with the basic unit of measurement? One shake of a lamb's <laughs> tail. We can do our own arithmetic. Thank you. Belched a little there. <laughs> Tried to swallow that. We <laughs> have words like soon. Soon. That's a very emotional word. There's a lot of potential for. He does a great job using the inflections in his voice yeah. for his delivery. So good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He makes you so engaged. Yeah. I love it. Mama. And that word soon. 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 Is your mother coming home? Uh-huh. When? Soon. <laughs> Real soon. As soon as she can. Sooner than you think. That's kind of a spooky one. <laughs> Sooner than I think. <laughs> That's a little bit like before you know it. <laughs> I'll be back before you know it. He did it. Holy Christ. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it. And we go on with these terms that we use, these vague terms of time. One of these days. <laughs> before long. Any time now. Well, that's true. Everything's going to happen any time now. <laughs> any day now. That's kind of a snotty one, any day now. Hey, I'll be giving you that five bucks I owe you, Bill. Yeah, <laughs> any day now. <laughs> Sooner or later, now and then, once in a while, from time to time. In a little while. In a little while. Well, it'll just be a little while. That's a wonderful one. I just love that. It sounds so benign. 
Just a little while. Couldn't hurt you, could it? You can wait a little while. <laughs> It'll only be a little while longer. Just a little while. <laughs> That's so different from... His facial expressions too yeah. kill me. I like know. so on point with the inflections and the tone too. Yeah. <laughs> like just so animated. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Think about <laughs> a longer, just a little while. <laughs> That's so different from a short time. Short time sounds almost terminal, doesn't it? <laughs> you only have a short time. Whereas you have a little while. <laughs> oh, I'd rather have a little while than a short time. Yeah, we got long ways we measure time. We got vast distances of time we measure. People will say things like, kingdom come. I, I'm going to be standing here till kingdom come. <laughs> Shit, I don't have that on my watch. <laughs> Doomsday, you say? Doomsday. Till the cows come home. <laughs> well, that's an easy one to understand. That's long about dusk, isn't it? If you leave them out overnight, they burst. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a long period of time, forever. Some people will tell you, guys, I've been standing on this line forever. <laughs> Look at this, Dave. This man has been standing on line forever. He looks fairly fresh to me. <laughs> Almost like an eternity, people will tell you. It's, it's almost like an eternity, as if they had experience with eternity. Now, you must have a favorite period of time. I have some favorites. I just want to try a few of them on you. It isn't easy uh, to select a favorite period of time, so many of them are attractive. But there are little periods of time that, um, that you might relate to. Of course, the most basic period of time I feel is five minutes. That seems to be the one everyone chooses. If they need to think of a period of time real quickly, they just go, five minutes, just five minutes. I'll be there in just five minutes. Give me five minutes, would you please? Just, would you just give me five minutes? Like, well, you kidding me? I can fix that shit in five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. That's all most people want, five minutes. A good, solid, nice period of time. You can do anything for five minutes, can't you? I mean anything. Even things you really hate. Yeah, you can probably do it for five minutes. Hey, let's go talk to Ted. Are you kidding? Ted's an asshole. <laughs> Look, just five minutes. <laughs> okay, let's give it a minute. <laughs> Not ten. Ten I can't make. Now you're getting into double digits. You're starting to fool with my head. Time. Five, ten minutes. Fifteen minutes is popular, you hear 15 quite a bit, but it's, it's sort of an institutional one. It's kind of an official time period, 15 minutes. Has a touch of regulatory uh, quality to it, doesn't it? It sounds like something you're not supposed to do or have to do for 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. I like 20 minutes. Doesn't that sound free compared to 15? 15 minutes. 20 minutes. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Gosh, what's he gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> so this is, I think, one of his older ones here mm. that just popped up there. Yeah, it was funny. I, I found like that wasn't, I wasn't laughing as hard as the last one that we yeah. did, but I was smiling and still like laughing the whole time. Yeah. Because he's just so engaging and so entertaining throughout with, like you said, the inflections, where I said the inflections, you said that, you know, his facial expressions yeah. were in line with that. And I, you know, I totally agree that he's just, he's overall a great entertainer. For sure. I think the last one that we did, obviously, there's um, there's more colorfulness to it with the subject matter. Yeah. Whereas this one was more of like, you can relate to it. It's funny because you know exactly what he's talking yeah. about, right? So, yeah. yeah. I, I enjoyed it on The Last Surge. I think too. he's just he's a great. funny character. He's so true. good. I yeah, love so. him. If you and guys those have, pants. Yes. Those pants. So if you guys have any other recommendations that you want us to get to, leave them in the comments below. Yeah. If you like this video or our reaction, hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe, guys, because uh, we like to have you a part of the community community and uh, we're trying to grow it as much as we can with that said that's all from us today we'll be back soon with another one thanks so much for watching today guys and we'll see you in the next one take care and take your time <laughs>